very much for coming in on short order this morning. I guess you can tell that we've had kind of a, a, a busy morning this morning, and what we're trying to do is to, to consolidate some of the things that I've been wanting to do for a long time, largely due to the schedule we've had in Washington. Where I like to mute every week to California. In fact, week before last, I made two round trips to Washington in a four-day period. So, uh, uh, but we've had a lot of things on our agenda, as you know all too well. <laughs> but, you know, the congressional uh, program that you participated in and uh, continue to participate in has been one of those programs that I have been a, I think we were the first office in California to actually initiate the program, weren't we, Brian? I, it was one of the first. One of the first, if not the first. Uh, and we've brought a lot more members of Congress on uh, since that time because of what it does to get our youth involved in projects in our communities. Uh, certainly one of your primary communities, I understand, was working with MANA over in Thousand Oaks and in, in the, the food share program. MANA does a terrific job, just as does uh, food share and, and Oxnard and, and your uh, uh, knowledge of being able to be bilingual and help doing the translations and so on uh, as part of your project for the Congressional Award. Uh, the one thing that is clear to me is while we're going to be presenting, Jason, with the Silver Award today, uh, which is a step above the Bronze Award, and uh, it's just almost inevitable that I'll be back meeting with you next year with the Gold Award. So uh, <laughs> it just works that way. And uh, The one thing this program does for me more than any other single program, while well, I'm very involved in Boys and Girls Club, the Y, Boy Scouts, so on and so forth, which are integral parts of, of any community, uh, there's nothing that gives me greater confidence in the next generation as a parent as a grandparent of 10 grandchildren, I have a vested interest in what the future holds for our children. And with folks like Jason, and I know you had some other programs where we give you a chance to talk a little bit about it. I know the thing that just really jumped out with me was the MANA program because I've known a lot about it for a long time. And having represented Thousand Oaks for many years, uh, that program has provided a safety net for a lot of people that would have been uh, uh, worse than destitute in many cases. So not only uh, did you do a great job, and not only are being recognized for it, you made a big difference. And uh, that's really what the program is all about. So maybe, Jason, you'd like to say a few things about uh, uh, the program and, and your other involvement, and maybe just give us a little information about how you feel about the congressional program and the opportunities it provides for young people to get involved and make a difference. Well, the congressional award has you work in a bunch of different areas to try and both help yourself become better physically and develop skills. I, for example, sang with a contemporary vocal group that met before school, and it just gives you a chance to try something new. And at the same time, you help improve your community. Most of the hours that you spend working on the award are in public service, twice as many as you put in anything else. And that gives you plenty of time to make a difference in wherever you choose to dedicate yourself. I, I've heard of a bunch of people who've done it, and they all have passions. It helps you develop passions in well, whatever you whatever you find, and it just helps you grow. And I really hope that others will get the opportunity to in, get introduced to the program, try something new, and develop passions. That's that's the whole goal of the program. One of the things that I'd just like to say and follow up to, to Jason is that we're here today to honor Jason. And yeah. you know, I do. Boy Scout Court of Honors and things like that where young people are con making major contributions to their community. And there's a, another very large part, and that's the parents. Without the support of the parents uh, uh, and, and with the 
challenges of the school activities and so on and so forth. That support mechanism of the parents, and I'm sure Jason would agree with me. And uh, if he does, I'll break his knees. <laughs> uh, is that a fair statement, Jason? Definitely. They, they're behind me whenever I go to it. They help me, well, wake up in the morning to get to school at 7 a.m. because I probably wouldn't be there awake to, you know, be ready to go for it, be ready to try at it. And they're just supportive of me in whatever I dedicate myself to, and I'm definitely glad that they're there to help me succeed. And I, and I think that if I had any message, uh, normally when you have the press, you, you want to try to take the opportunity to maybe put a plug in for uh, ways to make these programs even better in the future. And, and it, this is my shot at, at saying to parents, get involved, help these bright minds, help cultivate these bright minds, and, 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 and provide the support mechanism uh, they need. Uh, maybe it's something as simple as helping them with transportation, getting them back and forth uh, uh, to where they need to be in the process. And the, not all of these young folks that uh, participate in the programs whether it's scouting or, in this case, the congressional program, all have automobiles and have uh, the transportation on their own. So I'd just like to uh, encourage all the parents out there to take these bright, bright minds that they are largely responsible for them being here on the earth and, and use that opportunity uh, to help them become a better part of society, make a contribution, and at one day... Uh, be a parent that will help another young person follow in their steps. steps. So, now, the most important part <laughs> of this, and my greatest honor, is you guys have been taking all these crazy pictures of one and one to show. Let me see. My staff is supposed to prepare for this because I'm. Just, uh, anyway, it's with great honor and privilege that, that I present you with a silver uh, congressional award, and uh, uh, this is a, a tribute to all the hard work and benefits that you've added to this community, and God bless you, and I look forward to uh, seeing a lot more of you in the future. Thank you, guys.